I can no longer make YouTube videos. Unfortunately, my computer gave me this message. So after doing some hunting around, I realized I need to get myself an external hard drive. This is the Western Digital Elements hard drive. I have the four terabyte version. So hopefully we won't have any more storage issues for a while. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open and see what's inside. So if we look at the hard drive here, you can see this engraved Western Digital Elements logo right here. I think it adds a nice touch and looks quite clean. If we look at the ports here, we can see what type of plug it is. It goes from USB 3.0 into this hard drive connector. The length of the cable is not very long. If you do need to have a longer cable, then you'll have to purchase an adapter and run an extender that runs to your computer. Just something to keep in mind if you're planning to purchase this hard drive. So let's take this hard drive over here and connect it to our setup. So I decided to install the hard drive here. This is a marble window edge here and this laptop has rubber feet. It's gonna be nice and grippy here, which is great because it's not gonna accidentally fall off. So let's go ahead and plug in this USB port here into the hard drive, easy. And set our hard drive down. And then we're gonna plug in the USB port into the laptop. Something to note, this hard drive does not require power. It's powered through the USB port, which is great because that means less cables to worry about. So let's hop on the computer and check if the hard drive is connected. All right, so as soon as you plug in the Western Digital hard drive into your computer, you're gonna have to open up your finder and scroll down to locations. And if I click on elements here, you can see the hard drive is here. So we're gonna try to drag a file into there to see if it works. So let's drag this file here. And right away, you're gonna notice that it does not work. It does not let you upload files by default on Mac. If you're on Windows, it will start working right away. But on Mac, you have to go through a little procedure to make it compatible with Mac computers. So to make this hard drive compatible on Mac, you have to open up your disk utilities. To get there, you can click Command Space. It'll open this Spotlight Search, or you can click the Search button at the top right of your computer. So search in disk utility, every Mac will have this. Click it, and then once it's open, you're gonna see this window right here. This is your actual Mac computer hard drive. And this is the external elements hard drive. So make sure you don't accidentally do anything here because you can possibly mess up your computer. So make sure you go on the external elements hard drive. So to make this hard drive compatible on a Mac, go to erase. You can give your hard drive a new name if you'd like. And once you're done with that, click on the dropdown and click Mac OS Extended Journal. This will make it able to be read on any Mac computer. So click Erase. And it's gonna take a little bit of time. It took about 15 seconds for the hard drive to be formatted. So we click Done here. So go ahead and open up your finder. Scroll down on the side here. Click on the Elements button. And let's see if we can drag a file in there now. So let's go ahead and boom, you can see that it transferred over. So you won't need to format the hard drive if you're on a Windows computer because the hard drive is built to work on Windows. However, if you're on Mac, you will need to go through the formatting process. So if you're thinking about getting this hard drive, it comes in three sizes. It comes with four terabytes, two terabytes, and one terabyte. This four terabyte version runs for about $100, but if you want something a little cheaper, the two terabyte version goes for about $60. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing an external hard drive. And if you wanna see more helpful videos in the future, consider clicking that subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.